David Raya or Aaron Ramsdale is probably the biggest discussion in the Premier League right now. And it seems to be the question that everyone is asking. But just why has Arteta chose Raya over Ramsdale? And what is the impact this has on the long term future of the team? To find out these answers, please continue to watch the video and please like and subscribe for any more players and content on this channel. It's safe to say that Mikel Arteta is not stupid. When David Raya was signed on a loan with an option to buy in this summer, it was clear that he probably thought he was going to be the new number one and it doesn't come as a surprise because when Arsenal actually bought Aaron Ramsdale he was the second choice to David Raya in the championship with Brentford and even before he had played a Premier League game it was clear that Mikel Arteta wanted him to be his goalkeeper however fast forward to many years later Arsenal got the opportunity to buy Raya this season and they took that opportunity however it comes at a big cost this time as Aaron Ramsdale has been Arsenal's number one for many years now has been brilliant for the side helping them get into the Champions League for the first time in seven years and also becoming a cult hero with the fans, with a likeable personality and a brilliant ability to wind up opposing fans. And despite Arteta coming out saying that he doesn't have one number one, it seems like Riot is definitely number one. He has played literally the last eight games in a row for Arsenal. So why has he done this and is he being disloyal to Aaron Ramsdale? So first, I think it's good to look at both of them last season as they both play in the Premier League for different teams. And they both had very good seasons in different senses. Aaron Ramsdale solidified his place in that Arsenal side while Riot was a consistent presence for Brentford who did really well in came top of half of the table. Obviously Brentford are also expected to concede and probably concede more chances than Arsenal overall. I mean that's expected with the Arsenal defenders that they have and last season David Raya had faced more shots and more expected goals against him. David Raya was expected to concede around 47 goals last season and he faced 195 shots against him but he actually only ended up conceding 41 due to his brilliant saves that he did so he actually got a goals per of 5.9. This was the second best in the league last season behind obviously Bird Leno who somehow how managed to get like 12 above his prevented goals but this doesn't really show too much because Bird Leno obviously had a brilliant season for Fulham who gave away a lot of shots but he's obviously a brilliant shot stopper but Ramsdale replaced him in the first place because he probably is a much better goalkeeper so necessarily just saving shots for a weaker team doesn't really prove too much however when this is compared to Aaron Ramsdale's season last year you kind of see a bit of a picture Aaron Ramsdale was expected to concede 38 goals less obviously because of the defense that they have and he actually conceded 39 goals and had 60 less shots on target faced against him. Now this isn't brilliant by Ramsdale because he had a lot more shots against him and nearly conceded the same amount of goals. He had 50 less shots against him because he had two less goals and he prevented minus one of his goals, not even positive. However, he is almost even so it's quite hard to determine that from that perspective. But last season, looking at just the raw stats there, obviously we can't look at every situation of how it happened. You could probably say Ryers was a better shot stopper than Ramsdale last year. And then you contrast that to this season where obviously people have a lot of criticism of both of their performances but Aaron Ramsdale was actually the worst keeper in the Premier League based on expected goals prevented in the first four games of the season. Now I know this is a very small sample size and it's based on some few stats but Ramsdale actually conceded nearly two more goals than he should have in just four games which is not great and Arsenal didn't play that many big opponents you have to say and the idea is that Arteta probably looked at this in the first few games and thought this isn't really consistent so he probably decided to get Ryan in when he had the opportunity when he saw these stats. And overall Ramsdale was clearly a very talented goalkeeper he's made very many good decisions for Arsenal and been very good but he is a bit of a purple patch player which is weird for a goalkeeper there was parts last season where he just weren't on form and he really struggled I mean some of his passes out were just poor and people just seem to forget however we all kind of knew that Ramsdale weren't the best shot stopper ever like he's been like that for Arsenal the whole time and the reason why he was in this team was his distribution and his passing out from the back now it's very important that Arteta has a goalkeeper who can distribute accurately as they look to build out from the back as the gaffer is displayed in Arsenal victory against Manchester City, he used a goalkeeper to draw in Man City's press before releasing the ball to the midfielders. This is massively key for how Arsenal play, so they really need to get this right. And if you actually look at the in-depth stats, David Wright is clearly a much better distributor. I mean, Ramsdale is still very good at it, but they complete way more passes when Raya is in the team and his passes are way more successful. However, I will say that Raya is, to me, is a way better long distributor than Ramsdale, but you have been seeing some issues with Raya in the recent games. And there's been a lot of criticism criticism of Raya in the recent games because he keeps making mistakes I mean he passed the ball to Chelsea and then he made some mistakes distributing the ball in another game as well and it's not actually all Raya's fault now Arsenal's passing from the back has become quite methodical and predictable and it's even clunky sometimes because they are clearly trying to get the ball in a certain area which teams can know by now Raya is also not consistently used to this at Brentford they rarely made him play out from the back consistently and his defenders aren't players Raya would often want to give the ball to under pressure which means he usually ended up often it long 
long. So he's way more used to that long pass inside of the game than this short pass into the defenders having to work with them in sort of a back four. Now Ramsdale has been used to this a lot more and that's why he's probably more suitable to this short passing system but he's still not without mistakes. I mean he made a mistake to, against Fulham this season and he made a massive mistake against Southampton at the end of last year. So it's not like he wasn't having the same issues. And at Brentford you have actually seen Ryan break lines of his passing. You've been seeing him being able to fizz passes across the ground and be able to kick some amazing balls onto that team. And when kicking it long you can see when Havertz is on the pitch or a big man when asked to win the headers that actually his passes are very accurate. It helped Arsenal equalise against Chelsea. And it's going to take time for him to be accomplished at Arsenal. It's a very big time for him and it's a very nervous moment. Every single game has got massive implications for Arsenal and he needs to trust his defenders but overall this probably will have more of a chance of being coached out of his game than helping Ramsdale be what he is not. The upside of Riot is way more than what Ramsdale offers and if you can get this right with him and get that short pass into the same level as Ramsdale or even higher then Raya is going to be very much like Edison because his long passing is already so good and he can already break line. When you look at other situations the goalkeeper's in it gets more inclined. When you look at the 1v1 situations that Arsenal will get into because obviously the high line in possession especially when attacking we saw it against Manchester United that it leads to one-on-one -on -one situations and they're not always going to be offside. It's actually down to Ramsdale's poor position that a lot of goalkeepers don't really rate him and this is another thing that Ramsdale struggles with his position and he really struggles to be able to try and not lead the goal open for the opposing team to score and against Manchester United he got lucky that he was offside but there is in certain situations where his position is quite poor and he just seems like he's not really paying attention like against Sporting in the Europa League and there's a lot of moments where he actually really hesitates to make a decision and it really costs Arsenal sometimes and this definitely plays into the fact that he is underperforms his expected goals conceded. Overall there is going to be teeth and issues for Raya right now he is not familiar with the relentless act of playing out from the back because he primarily punted the ball long for Brentford but he does have qualities to play out and when he becomes a lot more calmer and a lot more familiar with the team I think it will get better. Arsenal just need to be patient and not expect them to win everything straight away and when Arsenal find the formula to make it right then they will be a much better team. You look at Edison for Manchester City he's not actually that much of a good shot stopper but his distribution and his passing of breaking the lines is such a big quality that it makes Manchester City a hundred times better team. The only real concern that we have for Ryan in his future is just how long will this short passing be bad for and how many times can you keep making mistakes until you get replaced. Another concern around the situation may centre around the potential inability to act more quickly in the same way that certain players haven't really made it in the past because they're too methodical. He seems like he is too methodical in the past and is not really quick enough to make that distribution happen when he's getting pressed. And Ramsdale doesn't really lack that issue. He is very quick on the ball and very good at distributing quickly but he does lack the calmness to consistently do this every single game and sometimes he loses concentration. And this is just speculation but I think Arteta sees that Raya is probably better than Ramsdale at shot stopping, long passing and one on ones and being a natural goalkeeper and I think that is why he probably starts over Ramsdale overall because Ramsdale might have that short passing on him overall but it's still causing issues for Arsenal and he's not saving as much as he should. Don't take it away that Ramsdale is still England's best goalkeeper and he's still an amazing goalkeeper that could be a very good asset for many teams it's just Arsenal demands such a lot for their goalkeeper that sometimes it's not really good enough for his performances and I understand that a lot of Arsenal fans love Ramsdale for everything he's done for the club he definitely should be given a shot in the Champions League or another game but I do think it's very unfair to have an agenda against Raya because it seems like every single player that comes in has to prove himself to the fans there's a reason why he's at the club and at the end of the day if Arteta trusts him then that should be enough and it will get better and better for Arsenal and then when he's doing really well it's the same with when Ramsdale came and everyone was judging him and then they realised how good he was I think this is it shouldn't just keep happening with every new signing but anyway that's my opinion on the Ramsdale and Raya situation I think Raya should be starting right now over Ramsdale but let me know what you think in the comments and let me know if you disagree with anything I said watch my other videos and thank you for watching